Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be doing a cloth simulation in Blender. I hope you like it. Uh, let's get into it. And if you do not have Blender, I'll put the link to download it in the description below. Alright, so with the default cube still select, you go to the physics tab and add collision. Now, S Z scaled up. About there. S shift Z, just make it a little bit skinnier. G Z, grab it up. Hmm. Kind of want it like on the floor. Here. And then shift A mesh add a plane. S scale to your desire about there. Add collision. Shift A mesh add a UV sphere. GZ. Bring it up. And uh, go into wireframe view. You can do Z on your keyboard and go into wireframe. Now go to side view. Uh, and shift middle mouse to like kind of do this. Uh, now tab for edit mode. Uh, a double tap to uh, deselect everything. Select the top half of the sphere. X to delete the vertices. Now select not the whole bottom half, but some of the bottom. And uh, S Z zero. And that kind of makes our bowl shape. So tab, go back into solid view. And that looks pretty good. G Z. Bring it down on the default cube that we expanded. Alright, and with that, we can add collision and go to the modifiers and add subdivision surface. Uh, hit apply. Object, shade smooth, just like that. And um, add modifier, go to solidify, and 0 0.06 in the thickness. And then hit apply. Just like that, you got bowl shape here. And then uh, with that, we add our cloth. So shift A mesh, add a plane, GZ. Move it like above the bowl, somewhere like right there. SX, make it a little skinnier, maybe. And then SY, scale it up and down the Y axis. Eh, about there's good. Uh, GY, move it back here a little bit, go to top view, which is number pad 0, G, uh, Y, to, uh, move it, like, over the bowl, just a little bit, and then, just like that, go to the physics tab, and add cloth. Quality steps, you can change it to 12, then you can close physical properties, go to collisions, and check self-collisions, quality, you can change to 6, and uh, then tab for edit mode, left click, and subdivide. Go to the subdivide tab and go 55. And um, with that, you can get out of that. And that will just give us more vertices for it to bend uh, when it's falling down. So uh, then, after that, you can um, change the bottom frames to 90. You can shorten that. And then, um, go to, uh, cache in the cloth settings, and where it says N, change to 90, so it doesn't bake all 250 frames that we don't have. Uh, bake, then, uh, go ahead and hit bake, and I will, after that bakes for a few minutes, uh, I'll be back when that bakes. And now that that's all baked up, uh, you can go ahead and play your animation through. Alright, well that looks good. Uh, and right now, you can go ahead and um, file, save as, you can save it wherever you want, on your computer. And, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. If you wanted to, I guess you could go and delete your bake and change it to 100 frames. If you might think this is a little fast and doesn't give a long enough time, you can. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to keep it like this. Alright, now you can see, after you play it through a little bit, like right here, and maybe even a little bit more through, you can see that it's kind of looks maybe you call pixelated. I'm not really sure, but fix that, you can go to the modifiers tab and add subdivision surface. Do not apply it. Uh, for some reason, that makes it a little weird. See, if we exit the subdivision, it becomes a little more squarish. Uh, so, 
add it but don't apply it with that uh, you can go to object and shade smooth and that gives us more of a cloth feel so it'll be pretty slow but we just haven't rendered it yet so yeah so um after that we're gonna make the walls so select the plane down here shift d r y 90 degrees so just type in 90 on your keyboard uh gx we're gonna push it back here and uh gz bring it up now it's a little hard to bring duplicate this wall to over here so we're just gonna do this one down here so shift d but this time we're gonna do r x 90 and g y bring it back so it's kinda just the opposite of what we did last time gz bring it up just kinda making our wall here and um with that, now that we've made the wall, we can change the light sen settings in rendered view. So go to rendered view, again you can either go up here or you can press Z and press rendered. Now uh, this is not going to look the way you want right now, but uh, go to once you have the light selected, the light settings are available, so change that to sun. And uh, change the strength to 3. Gives it pretty good lighting. Uh, now uh, G, Shift Z, so we can just move it along the plane right here without worrying about if it's going up and down. Uh, you see this yellow thing right here? You can hover over it and kind of direct the light towards the bowl, but also like down here on the um, on the little um, stand it's on. So, uh, maybe move it down a little bit, the light source. You can move, like, the yellow thing up and down as well. And, alright, well, once that is, um, done, you can, uh, go ahead and, uh, you can make the bowl glossy. So, even maybe even change the strength to 2, because this is looking pretty bright. We don't want it that bright, we want it kind of dim. Alright, but now select the bowl. Go to the Materials tab and add a new material. Surface, you can change to Glossy. And the Roughness, change to 0.4. You can open the Preview tab in here to kind of see how glossy it is. You can change this however you want. The color, we kind of want it like a bronze, uh, brass kind of feel. So maybe like a little bit more red than orange. Like right there. Seems about good. Uh, Alright then. So after that is done, you can go ahead and make the planes glossy. Uh, so select this plane down here and do a new material. Uh, where it says surface, go to glossy. Change the roughness to 0.275. And um, the color you can change to all the way black. Just like that. And uh, maybe direct the light a little bit more because you can't really see the glossiness of that plane a ton. Like that. Alright, now select one of our walls, add a new material, make it glossy. And uh, roughness, same roughness, so 0.275. And uh, the color, where, where the circle is right here, we're going to press that circle. It'll come up with this tab of things. So where it says texture, click brick texture. And this is going to be upside down, or maybe you want it like that. But we want it kind of going long ways. So with this, just select to go R, X, 90 degrees. And then that has flipped it to how we want. That gives us our, the brick texture that we want. Uh, and then we'll go to this, our uh, bowl is sitting on. And, yeah, just make sure the base color is completely white. Maybe change it a little bit brighter. But we want it to be white. So now, come to this wall over here. Same thing. Uh, surface, glossy. And uh, roughness, 0.275. And uh, the color where it has like a little circle. Change it to brick texture. 
and this one will be long ways automatically. So you can see these don't really match up, but that's okay. You can fix that if you want. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to do that. Select your cloth, new material, and uh, base color. You can change it to whatever you want. I think in this case a blue, like maybe like a light blue, dark darker blue would be nice in this situation. You can change these to whatever color you want, by the way. I'm just showing you a cool way that I think would be cool or whatever. So now go to camera view, which is number pad zero, but for those guys who have a laptop or just a, or just using trackpad, you can go over here to the camera button, press that, and you're in camera view. And for navigation, go to view and lock camera to view. All right, now you can move around with the camera, and we want to kind of want a view that doesn't really show the um, cloth just yet, but we still want to show like the bowl, and um, things like that. So zoom into your desire. We want the floor too because that's where the cloth will eventually fall. Um, so yeah, just kind of turn it this way, that way. I'm probably taking way too much time on this, but you do however you want. I think about there's good. Um, and just like that, you can get rid of the overlay, so up here, or uh, actually, select your camera, go to camera, the settings, and the end, you can change 1000. That gives us kind of a better view. Anyway, now we can get rid of the overlay. Okay. And, um, let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we should do. Nope, looks good. So, let's go to output settings. Frame rate, you can put to 30, and where it says PNG, you can just select AVI JPEG, quality 100%, and um, go to the render settings up here. We're rendering in Eevee, so make sure where it says render engine, it's on Eevee. Output settings, you can name whatever you want. We'll probably just name it cloth. Save it wherever you want on your computer. Uh, now go to edit, preferences and in temporary windows make sure it's where it says render in it, it is image editor exit out of that when it does and file save and render render animation and where this file is right here like the little file button press it and then whatever comes up uh, say wherever you want on your computer and then just press accept and then that should be rendering. So, and I think I'm going to walk you guys through the render process just because some people get confused on that. So I'll come back after that's rendering, like locating your files. It's just wherever you saved um, your file. If you guys do want more help on that, make sure to leave a comment down below saying that you want me to, um, you know, uh, walk you through the render process in future videos. Alright, and that's it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned for more. See you guys later.